Hello guys, uh, welcome, 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 uh, beautiful day guys, guys listen, um, I'm going to do this live real quick, you know, because it's all about patriotism at the end of the day guys, right, so when you look at our constitution, which I'm going to share with you guys here, it makes it very clear, you know, that, uh, you know, as citizens, we have a responsibility. It makes it very clear right here. Uh, and I think every Sierra Union, you know, we owe ourselves the responsibility of ensuring that we abide by this constitution. You see, I like section 14 of the 1991 constitution. I love this particular section. The reason why, it tells you exactly now. Yeah. Subsection B, as you guys can see. It says, every citizen shall cultivate a sense of nationalism and patriotism so that loyalty to the state shall override sectional, ethnic, tribal, or other loyalties. I know you guys are asking, well, Ibrahim, why are you showing this to us right now? Right? But you see, guys, we, we owe ourselves, you know, the responsibility of ensuring that you know, we protect our institutions. Because what Africa lacks today and what Sierra Leone lacks is strong institutions, guys. And who makes up these institutions? It's people, right? It's people. You have uh, people in positions of authority, people in positions of responsibilities. So you take uh, the civil societies, you take the ministers that are appointed, you know, uh, uh, councillors, all of these people, everybody has a responsibility. In Sierra Leone. I'm going to share this video with you guys because I want you guys to see this and tell me if this is what nationalism is all about. So I'm going to share this with you. I want you to see this. These were SLPP supporters misbehaving for all the talk of the SL people, SLPP people telling you that, oh, they're giving Sierra Leone a bad name because now they talk anyway they talk. They say, matter of fact, this, this video I just make them back real because I go for share with me people. Like, all the talk of them, you know, ostracizing people now, going against the civil liberties of the people. And again, the video I'm about to show you guys, it's about democracy. And that's what true democracy means, where people are allowed to express their views. You might not like what they say, you might not like how they say it, but it's democracy. And that was what we had during the days of former President Koroma of the APC. People like us, we express our, our, our rights to free speech as prescribed by the Constitution. But let me show you guys this video because this video is actually what I want to talk about. I want you guys to see this and then we all talk about this. But I want you guys to see this for yourself. Guys, are you paying attention to these people? These are the people. I want you to see these folks. You know, because I'm going to talk about nationalism. And it's not just about with political party and with tribes and with region. But these are Sierra Leoneans. Where are these Sierra Leoneans right now, guys? Hello, by the way. Hello, everybody. Hello, Israel. Hello, uh, uh, Mama so Sanko. Mama so Sanka and, and Conte. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Where are these people?
All right, guys. So uh, as you can see, right, this is what we're dealing with. So the question I have for every one of us is, where are these people? Where are these folks? And, and you know, as some people, they talk about bad name. Out in the guild country, bad name. Then guy, yeah, and this and that. Then you look at, you know, what is happening. When you look at all the reports from the African Express, look at this. Where are these people now? Where are these people? The first thing is getting money from the consolidated fund, stealing from our resources. Whilst we have current hospital medicine already, your hospital dirty, they didn't pay people in salary, teacher in a strike across the country. But where are these people that were actually protesting against former President Kuruma? Now talk about the bad name when they give you country. It is not a bad name to speak about the things that are going on in your country that is wrong. These guys are the same people saying President Kuruma stole Ebola money when we all know that is not the case. This, the Commission of Inquiry has proven it not guilty. It did not steal that money in Antifa. But you get the chief minister come with Mr. Egregious infractions. This is the problem we have in our society today. Where are these people that were proclaiming that former President Kuruma was a thief? Well, now we have the biggest thieves in our time. These are the biggest thieves in our time. This is LPP. Where are these people protesting in London? Where are they now? This is the question I want you guys to ask yourselves. When were, where, where these people left? Where the, the, the commission, the, 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 uh, the auditor general was not allowed to investigate the audit report? Where are these people? Look at this is the audit report for coronavirus. Vehicles procured by MTA not made available, not made available for physical verification. Look at how they spent our money. Where are these people? This is just the coronavirus. This is not. This is not the the audit. Uh, you know uh, the, the 2019 or 20. Uh, uh, you know uh, uh, audit reporting. This is just how they spent coronavirus funds. That is what I'm showing you guys right here. Just how they spent coronavirus funds. It's what I'm showing you guys right now. When you look at uh, uh, the way they spent the money, this is just the audit report on coronavirus. All the monies that were paid. Well, they were paying these monies to their own brothers and sisters. Look at this. All that money. These were the same people that actually even had the audacity to ask the Auditor General not to, not to investigate them. The President sent a letter through the Attorney General asking the Auditor General not to, not to, not to audit the coronavirus funds. Even as recently, we found out that these guys were actually moving money. They were using money. They used the money for do interbanking trading activities. Then they used the money for sell, for make money. Then they trade through different banks. Then they make profit. They've made over a million dollars by the coronavirus money, whilst people were there not getting paid. Where are these people that were leading this protest in London? It is about a sense of nationalism, guys. It's a sense of nationalism. And that is why when I share, I'm sharing the constitution with you guys. So you guys see what it is. Every citizen shall cultivate a sense of nationalism and patriotism. This is it right here. So that loyalty to the state shall override sectional, ethnic, tribal, or other loyalties. This was how the SLPP were actually going after the former government. I don't call that, you know, the Negiru Kotsky bad name. Yes, they were making a rudeness of the Debitman. Because there was no, no, uh, uh, you know, reason for them to be, they had no basis for them to be going out there at that time, you know, proclaiming that former President Kuruma stole any money from the coronavirus. This was how they propagated the diaspora. This is the message that went and sent out to the international community. This was how they give the country a bad reputation. This was the same things they did. Now, now Michael Mansare come out. He go talk for, say, former President Kuruma and the studio. They locked the bubble up. They locked the young man up. Where are these people now, guys? I want you guys, you saw the video, you know their faces. Where are these people that were doing this to our country? I don't call that anybody anymore. They get a right to protest. Every citizen has a right to protest. They have a right to protest. But the question now is, why is the SLPP going after people that are speaking up the facts? Hi, myself, I saw the opening. I went against the APC, not supporting the SLPP. 
But at the end of the day, the SLPP benefited from that. They benefited from my campaign against the APC. But I've seen the same thing when they do where I'm not saying wrong. I say, no, we cannot sit back and allow this thing to go on. So guys, where are these people? Where are these people is the fundamental question I have. And that is why I'm doing this video. Because we have to ask these people. We have to find these people. Where are they? Where are they? We have to find these people. That is the homework I have for every one of you guys. I want you guys to look at these people. Go ask these people, where are they now today? Where we've seen the level of corruption and thievery that has gone on, gone on in our country. We see Fatima Bio, the president, and they take $1 million to travel and go to Lebanon. Where are these people? Where are these people? That is the fundamental question we have to ask. Because these people were not, were, not to salon them in lack. They're people who are not to salon them in lack. If they be like Salon, we should be seeing them. Let we identify the people there. Let we go ask them questions. Let the people there can tell me what is the state of affairs today in Sierra Leone. Are they happy about it? That is the assignment I want to give to all of you guys out here. Because if these guys really loved Sierra Leone at the time, these will be the same people now that will take the streets of London again at this particular time to protest against the thievery that is going on, the corruption, the massive spread of corruption. Money done in a bank. Where are people there and not protest? Fatima Bio received over $3 million from the consolidated fund. It was thievery. It came now, it denied. It said, no, Sabi, but that money, they, you know, when they received government money, then African Express came out and showed them, and that's when she came back out and said, oh, well, who's going to expect me for pool money? So, Sierra Leoneans, where are these people? We have to find these people and ask these people, did they love Sierra Leone? Now, love them again for the country? Are they standing up now? Are they speaking up against the ills that is happening? All the terrible things that are happening? The human rights violations? The corruption? The thievery? Where are these people? That is the fundamental question I, ask, I have for you guys. And we have to find these people. We have to find these people. Where are they? This is very important because, guys, you see, we cannot take these things lightly. Some of us are love for country. That is why we're doing what we're doing. Love for country. But look at these guys. Nakovac. Look at the way they, they, they spend the money. Look at how they were spending the money. Let's, 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 let's look at these, transaction, uh, these transactions, right? Let us see the transaction there. But this was how these people were spending this money. This is how they were spending the money. Maria Tubangura, 17 million. Risk allowance for psychosocial staff, three days lockdown. Uh, Alfred Jamiru, seven million. Cost of communication and social mobilization. Basis Safa. All them people are no more. Fefegula. Look at that. This was how they spent the, 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 the coronavirus funds. Where are these people now that were protesting? Making a lot of noise. And then, of course, you have people like the Samsumanas. You have people like Samsumanas. That were actually there. Look at some Subana. Where did they come and say we get all the evidence? Look at him. The nice spirits. Yes. And then challenge anything. I get document that for prove everything. <laughs> for the people of the community, for the fellow Sierra Leoneans across the world. That this time around, the APC way and the been tell me say. We are joining them. We pack about first up of the minister position. Just for those who are waiting, they are going to come up. They offer me two ministerial positions. Yes. Why? Yes. I refuse. Yes. So these were the guys amplified all of the stuff. Where are they today? They're all quiet. And so the fundamental question is was this a love for country? If these guys really cared about Sierra Leone, they would be out there now going after the SLPP government. So, guys, I wanted to let you just point this out because, again, it's about a sense of nationalism. It's about a sense of patriotism. And we all get for, you know, because I'm saying this for even for the APC supporters now. Again, don't forget, I'm the chairman and founder of the People's Liberation Movement. I have a whole political party. I have not registered it because I don't want to take part in these elections. Because I know if I take part in this election, yes, I would have got for some APC. But the same APC people now that might be supporting me say, oh, Ibrahim, they try, Ibrahim, they do well, will be the same people tomorrow back when APC got a power. I heave the arm up on them. They say, oh, Ibrahim, now we're enemy. And that is what this SLPP is doing because these guys enjoyed from everything they benefited. If the SLPP is in power today, 
I played a very pivotal role, not by myself, but as a Sierra Leonean. The thing that I did, the little that I did in my own small corner, went a long way. And that is why we have what we have today. But look at these guys. Look at how these guys were spending the coronavirus funds. Look at all of this. Look at how they were spending all of this money. Where are these people today that were protesting? Where are these people? Where are these people that were protesting? The Constitution, again, like I said, Section 13 made it very clear. Cultivate a sense of nationalism and patriotism so that loyalty to the state shall override sectional, ethnic, tribal, or other loyalties. If these people in this video, if they really cared about Sierra Leone, where are they now? After all the findings, when you look at the African Express, everything that has been found out, look at the, 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 the stealing that has been going on, all the thievery that has been going on. Look at all of this stuff, guys. Look at all the massive corruption. Where are these people? Where is the love for country? Where is the love for country, guys? We have to call ourselves out because if Salonga for fix, if Salonga for go before, these are the things we have to point out and say people should not sit back just because not in political party, not in tribes, man, or not in region, not in people in their power. So they should shut up. But they will come out here and make noise and target other people. When these guys are the biggest crooks and thieves that we had, look at all the findings. Look at this. Eating uh, COVID funds. This is the report I was talking about. They kept the money doing interbanking activities. Look at it. Serenian officials illegally hold over 18 billion yuan of revenues in a private bank. They held it there. Now, recently, this was found out by the African Express again. Look at all the breakdown. But where are these people in London that were out there causing a lot of noise, protesting, telling former President Kromai is a thief? They wouldn't tell Mada a thief. We didn't tell Fatima Bios a thief, man. Them. We didn't tell the real thief, man. Them. We didn't tell David Francis a thief, man. We didn't tell David Schenge. They didn't tell Francis Baker if I a thief, man. Them. Then why they go and raise hell, they go arrest people, and they seize people and rights to free speech. They seize people and freedoms. When they had the same, they, they, they enjoyed the same liberties during the days of the APC. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, you know, make this bigger on the screen for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. These people kept all of this money. Where are these people in London where, that were protesting? Where are they now? The COVID funds, they keep them. They gotta keep the money in a, in a private bank. Name. Let me read this. Sierra Leone's finance. Let's 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 make this. Again, Sierra Leone's finance ministry and officials in charge of the country's COVID-19 uh, uh, response program have been holding billions of Leones, millions of US dollars, in public revenues received from COVID response services in a private bank account in direct violation of the country's public financial uh, public uh, finance laws and regulations the public financial management act of 2016 the law that governs the use of public funds mandates Sierra Leoneans, you know Sierra Leone's finance minister to establish a, 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 a treasury single account at the bank of Sierra Leone for the management of all public funds any bank accounts of budgetary agencies subvented agencies or other entities in the central government whether in Sierra Leone or elsewhere shall not be opened or closed except under the authority of the minister signified by the accountant general and no bank may open any such account without authority section 47 subsection 4 of the act states however financial records of the government of Sierra Leone accessed uh, uh, asset, ac accessed by the African Express show that over 18 billion euros Close to $2 million raised domestically through uh, services related to COVID-19 operations, such as testing, have been kept in the private bank account for almost a year instead of being transferred into the Treasury single account. Guys, this is the reality that we're dealing with. This is the reality that we're dealing with. So where are these people today? Where are these people today? Where are these people? Where are they? Where are these people? We have to find them. We have to find them before ask them where are they now? What is happening with all the massive spate of corruption that has gone on? If they really like the country, if they really love Sierra Leone, where are they now? They should come out here and tell us 
what they think about the thievery and the corruption of these SFP governments. They were going around with APC paraphernalia, memorabilia, saying that, that, that Alex Kurma was a thief. They, they talk about that name. Hey, Ibrahim, they can country by name. Because why? Ibrahim is reporting the, the, the factuality. Ibrahim don't make propaganda for them. We don't like for them. Because Mox from the printer, I didn't buy They all they don't like for them. People's power. Uh, uh, Brother Ibrahim, Ture, all of these people. Abdul, Saliu, uh, 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 Brother Odidi, all of these people. Nobody is not making up stories about these guys. But these people were just making up stuff. They have no evidence of the Ebola funds being stolen by the president. There are videos out there of the president condemning people that, 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 that did anything with the coronavirus funds. These people were out there creating a, a rudeness, the rudeness that did it. They did a country bad name, but I don't follow them down that route saying they give a country bad name. They were exercising their rights to free speech as prescribed by the section, by the, by, by the, the constitution. Section 26, subsection 1 clearly states you have the protection to your freedoms of assembly and association. That is what they were enjoying. That is what they were enjoying. And that is the true power of democracy. That is the power of, democ of democracy. That is the power of democracy. Your free speech, nobody should trample upon your free speech. Section 25 of the Constitution made it very clear. Look at it right here. He made it very clear except with his own consent no person shall be hindered in the enjoyment of his freedom of expression and the uh, 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 for the purpose of this section the said freedom includes the freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impact ideas and information without interference freedom from interference with his correspondence freedom to own establish and operate any medium for the dissemination of information ideas and opinions matter of fact let me put this on a bigger screen for you guys so you guys can see this Look at it right here. This is the constitution, guys. We're not making these things up. We're not making these things up. This is the constitution. All the freedoms it gives to us. This is the constitution. Section 25. Rights to free speech. Now they won't go make now cyber crime laws. To do what? To dis disenfranchise the people. Eh? But this is what we're dealing with, guys. Look up. Section 25. Section 26 say eh? they have the rights to protest. Look at it right here, guys. Protection of freedom of assembly and association. Except with his own consent. No person shall be hindered in the enjoyment of his freedom of assembly and association. This is to say his rights to assemble freely and associate with other persons. And in particular, to form or belong to any political party, trade unions, or other economic, social, or professional associations, national or international, for the protection of his interests. This is the Constitution, guys. That was what those fools were enjoying. But where are they today? All of these people, you have to find them. You have to find these people. We have to ask these people questions. All of these folks. We have to ask them questions. Where are they? Look at them. Look for their faces. Ask them. Where are they now? It's the sense of nationalism. Where is the sense of, of country first mentality? This is tribalism, if anything. These are people that are not patriotic. These are people that are not nationalistic. These are people that don't care about the country and well-being. They care about the political parties. That is why we are separate, we separate from them. For me, it's about Sierra Leone. We people don't get water for drink, clean drink and water. We people don't get access to health care. We people don't get access to proper education. You have these guys lying and stealing all of the money. Where are these people now? We have to look for their faces. We have to find them. We have to, we have to ask them questions. As citizens, we have to hold ourselves accountable. We have to. It is in the constitution, it is there. It is there. When you look at the constitution, it is there. I'm gonna take you guys again to section 13 and I want you guys to pay attention to this. Section 13 of the constitution makes it very clear. I want you guys to see this. Look at it right here. 
Let me put it on a bigger screen for you all. Let me put it right here on a bigger screen for you guys. I want you guys to see this, guys. Look at it. Let's read it together. Let's read it together, guys. Duties of a citizen. All right. Let me leave it right here like that. Guys, let, let's read it together. Every citizen shall, A, abide by this constitution, respect its ideals and its institutions, the national flag, the national anthem, and authorities and offices established or constituted under this constitution or any other law. B, cultivate a sense of nationalism and patriotism so that loyalty, so that loyalty, right here, guys, stay with me. So that loyalty to the state shall override sectional, ethnic, tribal, or other loyalties. And this is what African Express is doing. Where they expose the banking transactions there. Now look at this. Protect and preserve. Again, every citizen shall protect and pre It's a shall. The word shall. It is a must. It is your responsibility. Every citizen shall protect and preserve public property and prevent the misappropriation and squandering of funds belonging to the government, local authorities, or public corporations. This is our responsibility as a citizen, guys. I want you all to take a look at this. This is your responsibility as a Sierra Leonean. So where are those people that were in London protesting, screaming? Them, they're now they call London when you do London they say you give country bad name. That's when they define that. But these were the SLPP people doing that. Protesting. Then they were APC polluted. Then they protest. It was their right to protest. SLPP, you guys will learn what true democracy is. And people like us are here to teach you guys that. And we would make sure we hold you guys accountable when the time is right. Every one of you guys that are violating the rights of the citizens of that country will be held accountable and you will pay. But Sierra Leoneans, I want you guys to help me find these people. Find these people. Let us find these people. So that they can answer to us. So that they can answer to us. Where are they now? I missed all this corruption. Where are these people? Where are the people there? I miss this corruption now. Where are the people there? I don't have a problem with them. The problem I have is now that they, they look at this guy. This guy is actually in civil society. This guy right here. If I go back, this guy, uh, uh, Chad, I think he has Chad or something. He's a civil society guy. If I go back, this one. This guy, this guy, right here, this guy, he's a civil society activist. I saw a picture that he has with Fatima Bio as well. This guy. But what are they now? All of these people, we have to find them, we have to ask them a question. Was this about nationalism? Was this about love for country? Because if this was for love of country, then they should be out there now going against the SLPP to ensure that we protect our democracy. It was their rights to protest. You have a right to free speech. It is your right. Why are you guys not standing up now for people like Michael Masare? Why are you not standing up for people like Michael Masare? When Michael Masare's right was, 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 was taken away from him. Why are you people not standing up, standing up for that now? Why are you people not standing up for these people? But this is the problem that we have. These guys did not love Sierra Leone. Not to Salone Bilek. Not to Salone Bilek at all. Not to Salone Bilek. Michael in house, stay tuned. This is Sylvia Olenka Blyden, and then I come to Comrade Michael Mansare in house, na bo, and um, 
I just can't for me sensei for just can't understand what's that waiting happen. Apparently there and I am in the wash. Um that I was here day. So so now I am in the wash. Yeah. Now for me inside I didn't take her. So but when I was now. Alright, now you get here and I get to now. Now I bill Yeah. Oh, okay. Now yeah, I didn't pull him and then forcibly take him go to the highway, I mean what is the so yanda, go to the highway yanda, and from then I then drive off and go with them. So this is just like a short briefing. Are they also with your wife, Tene? With your wife, Tene? And a little boy. Little boy, say hello. 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 What's up? All right, all right. Okay, um, just check it out and sing to them, okay? So, so that was uh, Dr. Silvia Bladen, of course, visiting the, the family of... Uh, uh, of, of Michael Mansarin Bo. Now let me share again another video of the Chief Minister at the time, who is now the Minister of Foreign Affairs, David Francis. L listen to the speech. Where are these people? Where are these people? Where are these people now? When the Chief Minister made this comment about corruption, where are these people? Huh? L listen to this video. Listen to this video. This is a new direction, new generation, new government, new government. Mother Bill, they talk about delivery, delivery, delivery. So we got to make sure so we start with this road here for two and four. Sure. Sure. But we got to work with people that wouldn't get interest for Transform Lago. For the first time, when we did do road, please make sure if they give 100 million euros. If it's possible, use 99% of that for the road. Many people then see, say, you don't do the road. That one percent you put on the pocket, not a bad thing. Where are these people? Where are these people when the chief minister made this comment? Where is the sense of nationalism, guys? So again, I don't want to judge these people because I'm not a God, I don't judge them. But we have to ask these people questions because these people need to explain to us why is it that we don't see them, we don't hear them at this particular point in time with everything that has happened. What is going on? What is the problem? Why are these people not out there? That is the fundamental question we have to ask ourselves. Where are these people? With this massive state of corruption. Where are these people? It is very important, guys, that we ask these questions. These people were out there running their mouth. They were protesting, which is their right to do. It is their right. Where are these people? With all this corruption, when you look at this, uh, look, look, look at this. This David Schenger is there, the Ministry of Education. Where are these people? Where are these people with all of these things that are happening? Oh no, not a party in the power. Not a party in the power. So it's okay. Where are these people? Now look at them picking it up. This is a whole school, Sierra Leone, Grafton. Look at this school. In the capital city of Sierra Leone, look at this school. Where are these people? Check this out. Can you imagine, guys? That is a school. That is a school in the capital city of Freetown, but yet you have this David Shenga Bobo, Minister of Education, talking smack on Facebook and on Twitter, lying to the international community. But this is what we have, guys. This is what we're dealing with. Where are these people? You take the pronouncements of the African Express. You look at what is happening. Where are these people? All the massive spits of corruption. Where are these people? Huh? Where are these people? Look at this. We can go on and on. We have to ask ourselves these questions. And as citizens, we have to hold ourselves accountable. We have to. We have a responsibility to. Yeah? We have a responsibility to. We cannot sit back and let these people get away with, with, with this. Look at this. Let us read this article together. The first lady stealing from the... If this was the APC, these SLPP people would be all over the place make, making rudeness. In the name of they are protecting their democracy. 
But where are they now? President Enforcedly withdraw over 30 billion years of travel expenditures in 2020. Look at it. The African Express discovered. But if I let me just read the title right here. Sierra Leone's uh, president, Julius Manabi and his wife, Fatima Jabibio, collectively withdrew a total. It's like the consolidated fund is like that in pockets. In fact, that they're private money. But yet you get schools like these. You get schools like these in the capital city, yet they call the flagship uh, program edu uh, education. Guys, I don't want to make this long. I don't want to make this long. I can go on and on. But let me go fending people there. Yeah? Let us ask these people some fundamental questions. Where are they now? They need to come and tell us if this was love for country. If this was love for country. Was this love for country? Was this love for country? No. The answer is these people are tribalist. These people are not nationalistic. These people are not, are not, are not they don't get integrity. These people don't get no backbone. These people don't believe in a democracy. That is what this shows us right here. That is what that is showing us right there. So let us go ask these people. Let us find them and let us ask them these fundamental questions so that we can save with democracy. Because again, like we said, the constitution makes it very clear. The constitution makes it very clear that every citizen has a responsibility. Every citizen has a responsibility. We have a responsibility to ensure that we protect and preserve public property and prevent the misappropriation of and squandering of funds belonging to the government, local authorities, or public corporations. Again, don't forget, when we say the government, it's the people. Because when you go to the constitution, if, if I take you guys to section 2 of the constitution, right here, what does it say? Right here. Let me show you guys on a bigger screen. This is what the constitution says. It says, The public seal of the republic shall be such a device as parliament shall prescribe. You look at three. The flag of which the design is described in paragraph B hereof is hereby declared to be the national flag of Sierra Leone. La Lef Orlani. All organs, when you look at the fundamental principles of state policy, all organs of government and all authorities and persons exercising legislative, executive, or judicial powers shall conform to, observe, and apply the provisions of this chapter. Now, section 5. Look at this. Section 5. The Republic of Sierra Leone shall be a state based on the principles of freedom, democracy, and justice. Now, in them full man and liberty and joy. I never enjoy. It is accordingly declared that sovereignty, guys, I want you to pay attention to this. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Sierra Leone from whom government through this constitution derives all its powers, authority, and legitimacy. I want you guys to pay attention to these little things. The security, peace, and welfare of the people of Sierra Leone shall be the primary purpose and responsibility of the government. And to this end, it shall be the duty of the armed forces, the police, public officers, and all security agents to protect and safeguard the people of Sierra Leone. So guys, when you see these fools, they were exercising their right as prescribed within the constitution. But now show me how many of these people are actually standing up against the SLPP. And that is why I say these people are not patriotic. These people don't have a sense of nationalism. These people don't lack like Sierra Leone. They don't lack like the country. Because if you lack like the country, you call your political party out for the wrong things that they do. You call out the corruption. Those people just come and sing against the APC, sing against the government because that government is not your government in power. It is wrong as Sierra Leoneans, and we owe ourselves the responsibility to be accountable. So you guys find these people. Let us ask them these fundamental questions. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Have a good evening. Go back and watch the video from the start. But we have to have we have to cultivate a sense of nationalism and patriotism if Sierra Leone is going to move forward. Find these people and ask them why is it okay for the SLPP to be committing these egregious crimes of infractions, thievery and corruption, but yet they are not holding their, their brothers and sisters accountable. That is the question we have to ask ourselves. I love you guys. Bye bye everybody. Have a nice evening.
Uh, let me see if I can read one or two comments here real quick. Uh, this government of Ambrose, my God. Um, Ali, mind your words. Um, we can read it. Fine, okay. Dennis Simbo, Una na the enemies of Sierra Leone on our one bring trouble. Uh Pawi peaceful and non-partisan citizens. I wish them not for born these wicked twins. Okay, Dennis Simbo, you have a right to your opinion. Samura Kamara Kiesampa Fatima View. Uh Kunke Motate. Matter of fact, let me put Kunke Motate here. Kunke Motate. Um, I'm gonna highlight this your uh uh, I see you, you put Samura Kamara, a.k.a. Sampa. Uh, guys, uh, you know, uh, Kunku, Kunku Motate, I'm going to ask you these fundamental questions. You you know somebody where uh, you support me sometimes, you know, and then there was a day I did a video about Samsumana, you know, coming out in the diaspora and telling people about the APC and destroying, you know, the APC. We make people like a we. You went, hey, wild, hey, Kuku, and all that stuff. You have a right to your opinion, by the way, because I believe in constitutionality. So you have a right to free speech, and I respect your opinions. But this is what I want to tell you, Kunku Motate. If you're going to support me, you have to support my ideals. If you're going to come on my live programs, because I'm propagating for the APC, which is your political party. However, when I mention somebody like Sam Sumana, because now you are possibly the support, and it does not fit my own ideals with everything that happened, and now with everything that is ongoing in the country, where Sam Sumana is not even standing up for the people. Let's not even talk about the Ebola and all of that stuff. If you don't have ideals for me, don't come on my life, my brother. But again, you're welcome at any time. But again, we have to cultivate a sense of nationalism, Kunku Motate. So when you come in here, you say Samura Kamara, a.k.a. Sampa, or Fatima Bio comes here, you and you man, uh, big disgrace to Salon. You know, uh, again, what are you saying here? You know, uh, these are the things, you know, mix Samura Kamara with Fatima Bio and, and Mara Bio. Why do you mix them? Because you don't support Samura Kamara. Let me tell you this, Kunku Motate. I'm going to take this time for just talk to you, my brother, because we're all Serenians. What I have and what is different between you and I is because me not a support particularly any person per se. Samura Kamara, I can tell you this why I feel so Samura Kamara for just continue for be the flag bearer of the APC. Because it's simple. The 2018 elections was already there. It was already the aspirants. And on this confusion, all oh, oh, the so the Samura, uh, the uh, Samsumana confusion fighting on oh, all oh, social media, they attack other people and this and that. The APC has to have some form of you know unity within uh, themselves as a political party. Again, I'm not APC. I'm the People's Liberation Movement. Chairman and founder, a whole movement on my own. My brother, I can go contest the election today. I, say, I promise you I will get votes past some of the people that you guys support because people see my intentions and know where they are. I'm not a filthy politician like any of these other guys that you guys are supporting. But for stability and just a sense of unity in the party, let will left the craziness. It's just easy for move on with Samura Kamara because when you even look the, 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 the lawsuit where be there against uh, for the, the, the elections where Silver Blood and Fire, it should clearly say, you know, uh, the provisional ballot proof says Samura Kamara won that elections. But you, Kunku Motate, whoever you are, because I don't know you, and you guys carry these pages with all of these names, but I'm just addressing you in that, in that name. For let you understand, say, if, you have to, if you're going to support me, if you want to support me, you believe in everything I do, you have to have my ideals. Otherwise, we're not a see eye to eye. And you get forget, you get your own support way to support, because I don't go with them, you come there, you make rudeness, I see all the posts then. Guys, I read these posts, but I don't comment on these posts because I don't have time. You know, but Kunku Motate, I just want you to understand that, my brother, let us cultivate a sense of nationalism, yeah? Not so for support somebody no more blindly because you want to support them. You know, uh, let me put the interest of the country ahead. Samsumana, since the SLPP came to power, has never condemned the actions of this SLPP, has never said anything. All they care about is themselves. Forget about the Tanish way, Tanish a, 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 a political party. We make delicate today. APC is in opposition. SLPP is causing so much harm against our people. Kunku Motate. But you know, my friend, um, you know, we're going to cultivate a sense of nationalism, yeah? And move on our country forward. Not about people who are the support no more blindly because it comes like you're regional, because like your brother. So everybody else is an enemy. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it right here, guys, okay? I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I'm sorry, guys. I have a lot of you guys out here now that have, you know, joined me. But I'm, uh, I, I have to leave this live because I know I'm for a little bit too long. But I love you guys. I'll come to Una tomorrow. We'll go talk to you guys again and we'll take it from there. All right? Let me see if I can light another uh, comment there. Uh, so Bangura Suleiman say uh, biggest mistake uh, Sierra Leone has ever done by voting Bio. I, I agree, my brother. You know, it's uh, 
a terrible mistake there. But anyways, um, all right, guys. But guys, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll come talk to you guys again. If you just join me, go back and watch this live. I'm going to end it now. Watch them from the start. Because guys, we have to cultivate a sense of nationalism. That is the key of this message today. If you be opposed to the former government strategy for certain things that they did that you don't like, and then this government will support now, they can and do the same thing, then you have to come out here and condemn their actions. That is what a true citizen does. And that is what somebody will love in country to do. And this is what we have to have a sense of nationalism. This is what I do so against SLPP. I did against the APC. The SLPP was celebrating me, clapping for me, dancing and jubilating. I'm going to do the same thing when APC comes back in power. Because, guys, I'm telling you this. We have to get rid of this SLPP and bring APC back. Because, hey, People's Liberation Movement, how many of you guys are going to support me? If I say, come long, raise funds right now, go pull APC and SLPP. How many of you guys are going to support me? You're not going to do it. So the only political party will get the, the, the infrastructure in place for pull the, AP, the SLPP. Now, APC no more. No, not full with yeah? But again... You can say, yes, they're both the same, but we all don't see the difference between the APC and the SLPP. If anything, people will get peace of mind. This guy comes every day, social number. Broke people, rose, take their land, them beats people, them policemen, they violate people, their rights, block, you know, coronavirus, then fall. It's a shame. It is a disgrace for our country in this particular point in time. And that is why the SLPP is going to go. We all have to come together as Sierra unions and vote them out. Guys, you can guarantee that I'm here. When the new APC comes to power, then they continue the same status quo. You can guarantee that Ibrahim is here. I am here. We are the defenders of democracy. We are going to protect democracy. That is what we are all going to do. All of you guys watching me, regardless of a political party, regardless of what, who you support, we are going to defend the democracy. We are going to put Salon ahead of everything else. Not to your tribe, not to your region, not to your political party, or because we party in the power. I don't get party by politics. Nobody wants to be party. If you don't do the right thing, I'm going to call you out and we party poor. Because Salon people, they suffer enough. I love you guys. Bye-bye, everybody.